Hello, and welcome to Colin's Time to Bake. This time we're making a lemon drizzle cake with hooch. I've also got a very beautiful cat that I'm cat sitting for just now. So that's why, oh, hello. That's why it's a little bit different this week. Gatsby will be helping us make everything today. What do you say, Gatsby? No, you're gonna just wreck Sophie's couch. Okay, Sophie, you didn't see that. Now, something I haven't done in a while is make things appear with magic. So if you'll all join me, one, two, three, and ingredients. So as you can see, we've got some butter, eggs, flour, sugar, and hooch, hooch. We rub it onto 180 degrees, and while this is heating up, you need to take 250 grams of butter and blend together with 250 grams of caster sugar. Mix in three eggs and 300 grams of self-raising flour. And now it's time to add 100 milliliters of hooch. Blend this all together and then grate the rind off one lemon and put this in two. Cause you gotta get it super lemony. Cause hooch has lemon. Line a one pound loaf tin and pour your mixture in. Then pop into the oven for about 45 minutes to one hour until baked all the way through. You need to make some lemon drizzle icing in which case you'll need 50 milliliters of hooch. And then 300 grams of icing sugar. Pour the icing sugar into the hooch, then cut in half and squeeze in the juice from the lemon that you use to make the rind. Don't forget to pour a tablespoon of hooch into your cake just before you take it out of the tin. I've got to go feed the cat in Sophie's apartment, so if you'd all like to follow me, let's take the cake with us. One, two, three, and Sophie's apartment. Right, time to finish off, shall we? Once the cake is completely cooled, take the lemon drizzle icing and drizzle all over the top of your lemon hooch cake. Then cut and serve with hooch. So it's most important to have a taste test, so here we go. Chin chin. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Then there's some good hooch cake. There you have it, a delicious hooch cake. Recipe is available on my website, colinstimetobake.com, and if you want to follow me on all the social media, do so here. Next week, I shall be returning to my regularly scheduled baking, probably, but until then, it's good night from Gatsby. Good night, Gatsby.